Amen. That's for y'all. I'll keep seeing up there so I read from. Amen. Okay. Amen. Genesis 32, 24. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of day. Somebody said Jacob was left alone. Well, sometimes things don't really get right until they get left. Sometimes things has to become left before they get right. Sometimes God's trying to do some right and he has to let us get left. And some ought to say, you're right. And there is a place of wholeness. 
You don't need to despise loneliness because often loneliness is what produces the loneliness with God. Because if you've always got a person you can run to and depend on, hallelujah, it's going to make it more harder, more difficult for you to run to God and depend on Him. But when you've turned everywhere you know to turn, and man has let you down, and, and the doctors can't do nothing else, and call somebody, you can't find nobody to pray for you. It's at that moment you must make a decision, and then let the decision make you. You can either run away from God or run to Him. I found out Proverbs 18, 10 is true. The man of the Lord's a strong power and the right is run into him and they're safe. Come on, somebody. God allows people yes, to lead us. Yes, he does. So we'll run. Loneliness is not always bad. Loneliness is designed to create loneliness with God. And there, somebody say it was there in a place of loneliness. There in a place of loneliness. He wrestled a man. Wrestled a man with him until the breaking of day. Oh, glory to God. Somebody say, all night long. Brother, all night. Come on, Lyle. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, all night. Somebody show it didn't happen overnight. It happened during the night. Come on, somebody. Oh, the Lord God, all night long he rests with this man. Hosea 12 and 4 says that this man was an angel. Yes. Our preachers say years ago that this man in the Bible, that's all he was called. He weren't called an angel. He was interjected the word angel. And I thought, man, said Hosea 12 and 4, Hosea. He man said, many, many long years here after this. He man Jacob the rest of the man. He identified him as an angel. And you'll find out before the story's over, verses, I believe it's around verse 29 or 30, that the man, the angel, was God. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So Jacob's wrestling a man, but here it is, God's manifesting himself as a man. Right. An angelic being in the figure of a man. And it's God in the wrestling. Somebody said they're wrestling. Right. Jacob's not fighting God, he's wrestling with him. He's not fighting God's will. God's will is not being revealed to Jacob. God's already commanded a blessing, but God's about to test Jacob. Now, God's not tempting him because God tempts no man. Come on. But he is testing before blessing. Every good teacher will teach before they test. If you're in a classroom, a place of study, and they're giving pop quizzes and tests, and they ain't taught you none of the material they're testing you on, you better go to somebody in authority because that ain't no teacher. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Only a good teacher, amen, Lord of God, gives a test at the teaching of people. And God's a great teacher. Hallelujah. So if you ain't being tested yet by what you're hearing, you better pay attention to it because you will be. Amen. But somebody shout, it's always an open book test. Man, I love being kind in school. Man, the teacher said, oh, how an open book test that glory, glory. Well, I didn't say glory back then, but you know. I was like, sigh of relief. One out of a hundred, I don't get to pass. Unless I'm just too lazy to turn a page. Come on. Those answers are just as plain as day, written right out in both letters. I love them open book tests. In every test you have in the kingdom of God, it's an open book. Come on, somebody, you've got to get the book up. Amen. Look at your name. Throw this book at the devil. Throw it at the devil. Now, if you'll throw the book at the devil, the devil book. We're still in South Georgia, ain't we? You don't know what I mean when I say that. You can just watch it over the internet from that governor or somewhere. You probably think, what did you say? You throw the book, the Bible, and the devil, he'll run. There you go. Glory to God. All right. So Jacob was left alone and there, wrestling with a man until the breaking of day, all night long. From the time it got dark until the time daylight broke the next morning. Probably somewhere roughly about a good 12 hours or so. Amen. And at the least, maybe nine or so. I don't know. But somebody shouted, it was a long wrestling match. Oh, long he weren't fighting God. He was wrestling with God. He was wrestling with God while over God had already proclaimed him promise. Yeah. But God was about to test him to see really how bad he wanted what it is God had already promised. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, this is the angel, which is the Lord, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. As he wrestled with him. Somebody shout out of joint. Now, I ain't never had no shoulder out of joint. I know the man where I just preached this morning three weeks ago that happened to him. He said the most painful thing in his life. His shoulder was sitting in the front of his chest. 
Now that he's still in the sleep. Out of joint. Somebody say out of joint. Therefore, this shows us a painful night. This weren't just some any old night. This was a painful night. And who touched him? Somebody say God did. Boy, you didn't ever think about that when he was praying. God touched him. He And here he is, and God says, let 